Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. We have a nice cool start this morning in the 60s across the area. Luckily, drier air in place actually makes it feel cooler as well. We should hold on to these dew points in the 50s throughout the day. So even though we warm up, we should feel pretty comfortable even though we do get a little bit above average. Lots of sunshine though. We'll hold on to that hazy look to the sky through those 80s, upper 80s really to around 90. Western counties definitely could get into those low 90s later this afternoon. Those along at south of I-70 could get some breezes from the east, maybe about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Further northward shouldn't have too many issues with our winds. Light overnight, that's going to allow us to cool down a little bit more heading into early tomorrow morning and through the daytime Saturday, shouldn't have any issues with our winds. Really, we stay pretty quiet for at least the start of the weekend. We'll get a little more active though, especially heading into early next week. It's possible we drop into those middle to upper 50s tonight. Still, though, we'll warm up into the upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon. This is probably the warmest we get, though. We do see a cool down and quite a bit of a cool down heading on into next week. We had some showers and storms roll through our southern counties overnight. Now we have a few showers trying to clip our eastern counties, northeastern at that. A lot of it's going to stay off to the east, both of these systems to the north and the south. Behind it, pretty quiet conditions for Again, a majority of today and tomorrow, but we do see more active or a more active weather pattern heading through the second half of the weekend and into early next week. Today we may get a few clouds and an isolated shower is still possible through the next couple hours. Really not a whole lot of activity for our Friday. Most of Saturday should remain dry as well. It may not be until the evening. We see a few showers and maybe even thunderstorms that'll move through mainly our western counties and it could even fizzle out as it pushes further southward. So the eastern half of the area going to miss out on this first little wave of rain. We'll see better chances heading into Sunday, mainly Sunday afternoon. We'll start to see some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms move in. This could restrict our temperatures depending on the timing of it moving into certain areas. We'll hold on to that rain through Sunday evening. We could dry out briefly overnight, but then we look likely that we'll see some scattered showers throughout a majority of the daytime Monday, but it does help us stay on the cooler side heading into early next week. Upper 80s the next couple of days, mid 80s Sunday. With that rain chance Monday, it's possible we don't even get out of the 60s, but right now holding on to some low 70s. Still holding on to a few showers even Tuesday, but temperatures should stay pretty consistent even after those rain chances with some drier conditions and highs in the middle to upper 70s through the rest of next week.